This is Contractor Sense with Ruth King. Welcome to Contractor Sense. Here you discover ideas, tactics, news, and information that matters to your contracting business and you. I'm your host, Ruth King. This episode is sponsored by Profitability Movement. Google Profitability Dash Movement to join this community of business owners focused on building profit, increasing wealth, and giving back. Thank you for joining us. Here's how we will help your business and you today. There are many companies who provide extended HVACR and plumbing warranties, parts and labor warranties, that is. How do you choose the right company for you? What questions should you ask before you, quote unquote, sign on the dotted line? My guest today, Gus Vasilopoulos, Digital Marketing Manager of Trinity Warranty, one of the largest warranty providers, will answer these questions and more. Gus, welcome to Contractor Sense. Hello, Ruth. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's great to be here. I'm looking forward to uh, sharing some thoughts with you. Oh, that that will be great. Now, did I screw up your last name? No, no, you did great. Actually, I was, I was very much impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm glad to, to say that. You know, I would if I would bet, and I'm not a betting person, that most people haven't heard of Trinity Warranty. They've they've heard of the warranty companies that their manufacturers align them with and things like that. So tell us a little bit about Trinity Warranty overall. Sure, sure. So we've been providing uh, extended uh, warranty options for contractors for over, it's been about 13 years now. So uh, back in 2009 is when we got started. Uh, the founding uh, members have been doing this uh, far before that. Uh, but the Trinity got started back in 2009. And uh, we've been uh, providing uh, extended warranty solutions to primarily three different types of uh, channels. Uh, the first is uh, uh, OEM, so con uh, manufacturers. So they'll reach out to us and they're looking to either add a labor component to their uh, parts warranty uh -huh. uh, or or they're looking to extend the parts that they parts warranty that they offer and also tag along uh, uh, labor to that. So that's the one channel. The other is distributors. So you may have not heard of us, but you might be doing business with a distributor that offers our products. Uh, some distributors will white label it. So uh, it'll be their product, uh, but we'll be the ones actually uh, doing all the heavy lifting, so to speak. And then obviously we, yeah, we do do uh, business directly with uh, contractors. So contractors can come on our website and uh, work with us directly uh, and offer our products um, <clears throat> directly from, from Trinity. And it's, so, plumbing, yeah, it's plumbing and HVAC, correct? That is correct. Actually, uh, plumbing and HVAC is the two primary, I would say, uh, but we also do uh, generators. Uh, we do uh all types of pumps, any kind of stationary mechanical equipment uh, we cover, uh, but uh, HVAC and, and plumbing are uh, probably the biggest uh, segments. Right, and my, my gut reaction is generators have to have maintenance in order for them to be prepared. So people are very used to doing that maintenance where they might not be in plumbing and HVAC. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Yeah, I think, um, you know, people have want their standby generators to work. Yeah. <laughs> it defeats the purpose of having one, right? <laughs> if the backup isn't really a backup, then you're in trouble. Yeah, we're definitely in trouble. It was funny because yeah. I, I work with a generator contractor in, in um, just north of Orlando in Florida. And they had, they were so busy before the hurricane came through. It was crazy, incredibly busy because they have a lot of maintenance plans and everybody wanted to make sure that their generator was going to work, even though they had a maintenance plan. So there was a lot of service calls right before it, which is cool. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the unfortunate upside of, uh, or at least <laughs> it's the, it's the upside to an unfortunate event like a hurricane <laughs> Yeah, for a contractor. Um, at least. Yeah. So are there real, you know, talk about the differences be between the different warranty plans. Like what should a contractor look for? And, you know, when they try to choose a, warranty company to go with? Sure. So uh, I would say, and me coming from, I guess, a marketing and and a, uh, a uh, marketing background, I think um, the technology that the provider has in place to make it as easy as possible to provide the coverage is, I think, a, a really top uh, on my priority, I would say. So you don't want to have to add it 
a whole other function just to deal with warranty. So if you want to buy the warranty, it should be really simple. Uh, if you want to file a claim, it should be really simple. You shouldn't have to fill out forms and then get them emailed and then track them and, and all of that. So whoever, I think, in the race of, of who's going to be around in 10 or 20 or 30 years, their ability to really streamline this process is, is a really big um, uh, part of what's going to keep them uh, relevant. So one of the things that you should look at is let them demo their uh, portal, assuming they even have one. Uh, some of the small ones don't even have that. But if they do, demo the portal, see how seamless it is, see how many of them are making strides to uh, integrate in one way or another, or have an uh, API uh, so that uh, if you do use some sort of FMS, uh, there is some sort of uh, way that uh, their platform can communicate with, with the uh, software that you're using. But uh, even standalone, make sure that they have the technology uh, you need as a contractor to make this as least of a burden on you as possible. So that, that's, that's, I think, high. The other thing is, and many of the reputable guys out there, they do this, make sure they're using, uh, at, at a minimum, an A-rated insurance carrier to uh, park the risk associated with uh, the repairs. So the money, where, where, where are they putting it so that it's there when it's time uh, for that claim to be paid? Uh, <clears throat> other things to consider is, well, Obviously, customer service, you don't want to be dealing with somebody who isn't going to be there when you need them. Um, what other thoughts? Um, I've got there's... one for you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Make sure they've been around for at least 10 years. Oh, yeah. Some oh, of the yeah. lower ones have not seen the claim, at least from the HVAC side, not so much the plumbing side. But, you know, if, if equipment is maintained, we all know it doesn't break in years one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Can they play claims seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? You know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's that. That's definitely <laughs> that's definitely something uh, they should be uh, thinking about. The other thing is understanding how a company is structured and it under whether or not they're uh, audited, whether or not there's uh, the way our industry work is uh, works is is that we obviously we're the administrators of of the. Uh, extended warranty or extended service agreements is what they're actually uh, formally known as. Uh, we're the administrators of those. And, and that money is set aside with an insurance company. But that process of taking that money from the contractor and making sure it makes its way to the insurance company, uh, the fidelity of that needs to be there. So if you have a small person or somebody who isn't audited, uh, you run the risk of taking of them taking the money from the uh, contractor, but not setting it aside with the insurance company. So that that's something to understand how well they're structured as far as doing that. What I just described there. So and making sure that it's audited. So not just not them saying, "Hey, yeah, we're 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 on the up and up." Well, who's checking to make sure that that's true? <laughs> yeah. So exactly. You know, yeah. yeah. Minor so detail you don't, there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So so finding. Or, or finding a contractor, I'm sorry, a, a provider that that is uh, has oversight. So we're we're actually owned by a public comp publicly traded company. So we, we we do quarterly. In addition to the insurance reviews uh, from the from the insurance provider, we actually get audited by um, our auditors for uh, compliance reasons, and we have uh, certain internal controls that are regulated by the SEC to make sure that we meet the standard that's required to be listed. So uh, there's a certain degree of scrutiny that we go through that maybe no other provider uh, that's a third party uh, actually has to go through, uh, which gives you gives you a sense of knowing that, you know, what's under the hood, so to speak. <clears throat> cool. If somebody wants to get in touch with you, Gus, how do they do that? Uh, trinitywarranty.com is the best way. So that's trinitywarranty.com. Uh, there's a lot of information on our website as far as the product and, and, and how to take advantage of it. Uh, Ruth, I wanted to ask you something. D does your audience, are they very familiar with our products? How, what, do you, what, what, would you think, what would you say? Probably not really familiar, but let's talk about that after the break. How's that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right. We need to take a break. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to Contractor Sense. Are you one of the contractors who enjoys getting and analyzing your financial statements each month? If not, it's probably because you haven't taken the time to discover what your profit and loss statement and balance sheet are telling you. And you probably are not making good business decisions based on timely, accurate financial statements. 
You know you have to do something about this, but where do you turn? Ruth Kings makes your financial statements fun and sexy online course. These easy to understand four sessions explain financial statements in English rather than accounting babble. You'll discover what your financial statements mean and how to analyze them each month. Then you'll have the info you need to spot minor issues and take care of them before they become major crises and run you out of cash. Enroll today. Click on the link in the show notes or call us at 770-729-0258. We're back. Thanks for listening to Contractor Sense. I'm talking with Gus Vasilopoulos, who is the digital marketing manager of Trinity Warranty. And right before the break, Gus asked me whether I thought a lot of you knew about their products. And I said, no. So let's talk through products. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. So essentially our product, what it allows the contractor to do is to offer an extended uh, labor uh, coverage option for their for their homeowners. So just as they uh, typically offer brands that offer 10 year parts, uh, the parts coverage does not cover labor. So if something were to happen and they were to change out a compressor, yes, they would pick up that compressor from their distributor or if the manufacturer has their own distribution nearby, and then they would uh, have to charge that customer for the labor. So uh, what we allow the contractor to do is to be able to offer a 10-10, 10-year parts, 10-year labor uh, for their installs. Now, uh, the options that we have are, are not just 10 years. You can do one year, two year, three year, five year, or 10 years worth of labor added to an install. And what that allows the contractor to do is offer a end-to-end 10-year, uh, let's assume it's a 10-year solution. So they, they would uh, complement the 10 years parts uh, warranty with a labor component. Yeah, um, the, the interesting part about that is like, let's assume you're, you're living in Atlanta, Georgia, where I am, and nobody, I shouldn't say nobody, I've been in my house longer than 10 years, but it is such a transient city. If you're, you know, if you're a mid-level manager or you're a regional manager or something like that, you're not living in your house for 10 years and they're going to look at you and go, well, I don't need that. And so there's um, some options at that point, you know, if you only want it for five, you know, you can do it for five, right? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Then that's the main driver, I think, for us offering a, a, a smaller uh, term. So five years would maybe fit for somebody who's thinking that they're not going to be there for, for that long. Uh, the, the other way to think of this is typically what the contractor uh, or how they use this product is they, they use it as, as a branding tool. So the homeowner, uh, they, they want to, <clears throat> when they're talking to a contractor, they want to feel like they can trust this person. They want to feel like they're going to be there for their needs that they're gonna put in this system and they're gonna stand behind it. Um, and, and being able to come off as a contractor that actually cares about the homeowner, that you took the time to build a, a home comfort solution that is going to meet the needs of the homeowner for, for a while, right? And when you, when you present a proposal to your homeowner and you say, hey, we're gonna put in a new system, it's gonna cost you, you know, X. 10, 12,000, right. And, 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 you know, we'll be here for the next three months if something goes wrong, like we'll cover that. And then you have another uh, contractor coming in that says, listen, this is the way we do business. We want to make sure we're, you know, we're going to put in a system that costs X amount. We want to know that you don't have to worry about that system uh, for at least the duration of your payments, if you're financing. Uh, but, you know, we're going to stick behind it for 10 years. And this is the way we do it. We work with a company like uh, Trinity that, that allows us to do that or, or how, however they're gonna present it. It comes off differently from the uh, standpoint of the homeowner. It, it lets the, the homeowner know that, you know, this guy isn't in here for the quick sale. And then, you know, what are you gonna do after that system is in and something's going wrong? Uh, it's, it's one thing to have to, you know, you're financing this system for, for let's say five years and you have to dish out, you know, for a twelve hundred dollar compressor change out, or or the a coil is is just awful, and, and you, you got to get it replaced, or or whatever the repair may be, a serious one. 
you're making your payments and you don't even have the, the product that you paid for uh, to, to, to show for it. Uh, in the event it breaks down and, and, and you, you, you don't have the, the proceeds set aside to, to make those repairs, the larger ones. So that's really, it's more of a branding tool for a lot of the contractors out there. And what they'll do is they'll say, we're the only guys that stand behind our work for X amount of years. And that resonates with the homeowner. Uh, a lot of the larger brands, that's what they're using it for. It's, it's, a, it's a brand uh, differentiator. It sets them apart from all the, you know, all, all the other contractors that are uh, bidding on, on a particular install. And yeah. a lot of the requests that we get, I'm sorry to cut you off there, Ruth. A lot, of the, a lot of the inquiries that we do get, Ruth, are, are contractors that keep telling me, you know, we keep losing bids to so-and-so and we find out that they're given X amount of labor and we want to, you know, we want to see how we can do that or what's that going to cost us. And uh, yeah. So the other thing that if they're smart and they're financing, you guys all listening to the contractor sense are really, really smart. You're going to say if they're financing it, we're also going to include the 10 year maintenance plan. So there literally is nothing that you have to pay for for 10 years. Exactly. So, yeah. So the maintenance, you know, a lot of times they'll they'll include the 10 year parts and labor extended warranty. But oh, by the way. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay for your maintenance for 10 years. <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, you're getting this, but this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, for, for, for the, for the maintenance piece, and I think you've talked about this, it's uh, one of the, one of the, I guess you could say the uh, motivations as well as to offering this is it kind of creates some stickiness with the, with the homeowner, sure. the fact that you're the provider. Uh, so the way our, our, our program works is the contractor that installs uh, the, the system, they're uh, listed as the contractor on record for that uh, extended service agreement. So they're gonna be the primary source of contact uh, for the, the homeowner in the event there's a failure. Uh, but in the event, just so in case we have any homeowners that are uh, here or contractors that are wondering what would happen if they were to retire, uh, we do look after the homeowner in the event that that contractor does retire. So they could reach out to us and we would do our best to locate somebody else that uh, we have in there area so that they can have those needs met. Yeah, I mean, the, and that is happening. Some are selling out, some are retiring, some are, you know, turning it over to their kids or mm -hmm. whatever else it is. So, I mean, that's a concern in the long run, you know, not necessarily for year one or year two, but maybe by the time year 10 comes around, not, you know, hey, I'm out of here. You know, what yeah. do we do with all these extended warranties? And, you know, from your perspective, you guys take care of them. Yeah, and then one, one, one thing that I just wanted to touch, uh, when it comes to contractors, the primary motivation is, you know, how do I get more, uh, how do I get more sales? How do I, how do I increase my, my bottom and, and top line? And, and one of the things that I, I always encourage contractors to try, uh, we, we've seen it with our contractors that when you, when you build a better uh, home, home comfort solution or better install, you get a better close rate. And I always ask the contractor, listen, start start where you need to start. You want to just try, try five years or try three years and see what the market does. Run a special and include the five years in it and see how well you do on your marketing response rate and yeah. see how well, yeah, your salespeople are closing these, uh, you know, what's, what's the close rate before and after and, and the impact as meaningful as I believe that these ESAs are to customer service, the fact that you're not going to have to explain to the customer why they're not covered under their manufacturer warranty. And you're kind of tug of warring when you're doing service after the install. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the fact that you can actually improve your uh, close rate or uh, it is something that I think adds, adds a substantial value. Uh, and it costs nothing to try. You can enroll within a day, your portal's up and running and you're able to place orders. And it's really easy to just give it a try and see what that's going to look like. And then when most of the contractors, that's what, well, that's what they'll do. They'll start somewhere. And then before you know, whether it's a year, two years, three years, they're just doing 10 years on everything because yeah. it just helps. It just works. Yeah, absolutely. Gus, final thoughts. Yeah, final thoughts. Well, uh, <clears throat> I would just say that um, uh, when, when you do... Um, you know what? Uh, I, I, I was I was gonna say. I forgot what I was gonna say there, Ruth. 
All right, so let's do this. Let's say my final thoughts. Extended warranties are becoming something that's absolutely required if you want to take care of a customer, number one. If you're financing, then you add the maintenance agreement costs with inflation in there because it's like pennies more a month. And uh, if I remember correctly, Gus, your Trinity's website is trinitywarranty.com. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. So Gus, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you, Ruth. And thanks to all of you for joining us. Choose one thing that you discovered and implement it in your business. These ideas, tactics, and strategies help you make more money, have more free time, and give back. If you like today's program, spread the word. Please review this podcast on any device you're listening to it on. Help a fellow contractor make more money, too. For comments or questions, call me at 770-729-0258 or email ruthking at hvacchannel.tv. Thanks for listening. Have a great and profitable day.